Wood vinegar is the liquid that we got from the condensing of the smoke when we burn wood. Any kind of wood we can make into wood vinegar. We use wood vinegar for many things, especially in the garden. We dilute 1 to 20 to spray on the leaf or vegetable and under the leaves to control bugs, aphid and many kind of pests in the garden. Dilute 1 to 500 and then we can soak all kind of grain in there for one night like a bean, rice, corn, they will grow better and germinate better. We dilute 1 to 100, one part of wood vinegar, 100 part of water, and we use this water to mix with animal food. Like this one, we mix with chopped banana tree, or corn, or many things mixed together. And then we can feed animal, can be pigs, can be cows, can be any kind of animal, chicken, ducks, they will digest the food better and then they grow better. They're stronger than normal, have less sickness. Tar is a byproduct from making wood vinegar. We can use it for apply on wood to prevent bugs. We use wood vinegar to feed animal and use a lot in the garden. And in the same time, we use vinegar for cooking also. We can add some wood vinegar in barbecue sauce in many kind of food that we want to have the smell of barbecue or smell a smoky smell or something like that so we can use wood vinegar in the food and then we use with wood vinegar for healing also the good thing of wood vinegar is we can use on skin disease if you have some skin disease that you don't have any choice to heal it, you go see doctor many times, it doesn't help. Try wood vinegar. It's unbelievable. And another thing is you have pain on your gum. When your gum have problem, keep wood vinegar in your mouth not very really long and spit it out and clean it. You'll feel better after that. We also use wood vinegar in soap making. When you're making soap, add wood vinegar in there. It makes the soap very good and get rid of the smell in our body. Wood vinegar is so useful. How to start to make the kilt to make wood vinegar and then make the charcoal in the same time. When we make the charcoal, we will get wood vinegar. So it's quite simple technique. What we need is not a lot of material. What we need is 200 liters oil drum, two of them, and the cement pipe, four inches diameters and one meters long, one of them, and 15 cement blocks or anything the same size or close to these blocks. Lie the first dump down and then cut from the edge to uh, the cut about three inches both side and then the height about nine inches cut open it off like this we cut the front side of the drum nine by 14 inches we cut only three part of it and then we can flip it up like this the back side of the drum we cut the same way but smaller about four by six inches after we cut three holes in one in the first drum, the first hole is the big hole. This is will be the door where we fill up the firewood, and then front hole is where we going to start the fire. The back hole is a chimney, and then the second drum we just cut the lid like this. We cut the whole drum about seventeen centimeters. That's the width. The length is the whole drum. We can cut bigger than that is okay just to make sure that it can cover cover the the door where we fill up the wood we need to use this part to cover it 
and cover with mud and sand later. When we finish preparation for the drum, we going to set the drum. How to set the drum? We use uh, 15 cement blocks to start it. So the cement block, we we don't put a big hole up. We put a small hole up so we will not use too much sand or mud to cover it later when we need to close. This end is going to be a chimney it will connect from this hole, tiny hole. Yeah, but this end, the front, it will be the front part of it. This end, it will be where we are going to start the fire. We use about 15 cement blocks like this to uh, create a tunnel for the kiln because we want to start the fire outside about one meter or uh, at least half a meter far away from the, the drums. So we're going to close the front part of it like this with the cement block first. We try to close outside of the tunnel very well. We don't want the air leak. We don't want the heat to come out. We want all the heat to be sucked inside the drum as much as we can. So we make the structure like this and then we try to close all of them with mud later. But now anywhere is a big hole we can fill up with uh, bricks or anything that can hold it easily. At the back side of the drum it's going to be a chimney. So we use the stick to nail on the ground so it can hold the cement pipe stay very well while we use mud to cup around this part of it. So this part it need to be totally cupped with uh, mud and straw so it will not crack. It's good to mix mud with straw very well. This is the finish of the setup. After that, we just make clay and long straw to cup around the cement blocks, all the cement block area, connect with the drum. It needs to be sealed completely with clay. When the setup ready like this, we need to build a box around it. And then the box have to be taller than the whole thing like this. And when we fill up with sand, so to prevent leaking of the heat from inside. We start to lay the wood by using a small stick across the drum like this. It's good to separate the side of the wood like this first. And then we start with the smallest one at the bottom and the bigger and bigger one on top. This is the way we line the five wood in the drum inside. It look like this. Cover with the lid and then above the lid we cover with sand, a lot of dirt or sand on top of it. That's finished the process and then we can start the fire. It's good to connect the tunnel far away from the drum at least one meter like this. Then we start the fire at the edge of the tunnel like this and the heat will be sucked inside by itself. After that, the smoke will come out from the chimney. We have to wait until the crazy smoke come out. Crazy smoke, it, just, it means a lot of smoke come out. You can't see through it easily. And then the color of smoke, a little bit yellow. Or another way to know when to collecting uh, wood vinegar is you can test the temperature at the top of the chimney. If it's uh, 80 Celsius up to 150 Celsius, it's the best time to collect. If it's lower than that or higher than that, it's not good to collect wood vinegar. When we got the right temperature, we just remove this long pipe to connect with the 
chimney. So all the smoke will go to the chimney and then it will condense and drop down here where we cut it under the pipe and then collect wood vinegar from it. When we start to collecting the wood vinegar, we can collect about two to three hours only. And after that, the smoke will turn more white color. Then the temperature will be higher. We can close, we can stop collecting wood vinegar and we can close all the chimney and then everywhere in the kiln, not let any air in there. Then we will get charcoal when it cool down. It maybe take another uh, five or six hours to cool down. Wrapping banana layer on around the pipe, it will help to cool down the pipe more and then the smoke will condense more. We will get more wood vinegar. Or we can use cloth, wet cloth instead of banana too. Wood vinegar is the liquid that we get from the condensing of the smoke. If we if we burn something and then we can force the smoke go into one chimney like this. And then if we have a pipe, long pipe like this to collect the the smoke. And then when the smoke come in here, and then the pipe is cooler. So the smoke will condense and flow back and then we make a hole here. And then the smoke will come and then turn to liquid and flow back and drop here. So we can collecting the liquid. This liquid we call wood vinegar. So for the, this pipe, in tropical country, we have quite a lot of bamboo. It's good to have big bamboo. Then this is the last joy. We keep the last joy here. And then we cut here open. So this part can be put on top of this pipe uh, perfectly or a little bit uh, bigger is okay. So we can use something to wrap around it to prevent the smoke, to not let the smoke go out in this way. So if we use the bamboo, it's good to use the metal pipe poke inside to break down the joint inside all the way to this one, but keep the last one. So we will get the bamboo pipe, long bamboo pipe. This one at least need to be three to four meter. So this is the system how it works. Just the smoke go into the, the pipe. And when the pipe cool down, we always wrap with this pipe with bam with a banana layer or wet cloth to make it cooler. It condense more, so we get more wood vinegar. If we don't have the bamboo like this, we can use metal pipe also. Metal pipe is harder to use. Sometimes we just use thin, thin, the flat thin. We wrap around. We wrap together. It will be round pipe. We can use that one too. That's quite cheap and easy too, in case if we don't have bamboo. And for the kill, we make the, we use oil drum. One oil drum like this, we open this area. And then we open this part. We cut three parts and flip it up like this. This is with the front part of it. The back part is smaller. We open three sides and open, flip the top side up like this. So we will get the drum set. And then when we set the drum, we put the bricks here and tiny bricks here. And then we connect another bricks, go out like this and put another bricks here and close it. So this part will be the tunnel. So the back part will be, this part is going to be the chimney. The chimney will come up like this. 
and then this part will connect to this this hole so the air will flow from here to here and come here and go out here this is smoke will go out so the pipe can connect to this one when we start to burn we put the pipe to connect one this this part and then we use wet cloth to wrap around this part so it will help to keep the smoke to go in the pipe all of them so when we start the fire we start the fire here when we put the wood here a lot of wood in here and close it wrap the whole thing cover the whole thing with sand or clay this area so when we start the fire here the heat will flow out inside and start to bake the wood inside here and then go out to this part and go out to this pipe and condense and drop it here you will get wood vinegar when we got wood vinegar it's a little bit uh, muddy water in the beginning but it's brown color but when we let it sit at least three months at least three months it will separate the bottom one that settle is tar we use this part to apply on wood to prevent bugs but the middle part of it is what we call wood vinegar it's very clear and sparkling like this and the top part it will be some kind of oil we don't need that part it's quite thin so we take only the middle that is wood vinegar if we make the charcoal or wood vinegar with the oil drum it will take about 12 hours at least but if we make the old style kiln that they use a lot of wood it will take a week to be able to open it but you will get very good charcoal like this this is pine cone you can put fruit you can put flowers in there it will turn to charcoal fruit or charcoal flowers you can use that this charcoal can be used to make soap make shampoo or make medicine from it you can fill the water with it too and then you can also use uh, pottery in there to do to bake it it will be very strong and very hard so making charcoal you can do many things along with it it's very fun try it one time it lasts for a long time